I seem to be inside a computer. What am I supposed to think about this? This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I'll let you make up your mind. Is all this just a simulation? Are we living in the Matrix? Every action you have ever done or will do is just a product of complicated advanced computer code. Every feeling or emotion you have ever had is generated in the memory banks of a supercomputer. I'm scared now. And that is exactly how many people feel the first time they are confronted with this simulation theory, first proposed by British philosopher Nick Bostrom. He suggests that highly developed descendants, or possibly aliens, are behind our digital imprisonment. I want to escape. Sounds crazy? Well, Rich Terrell, director of the Center of Evolutionary Computation and Automated Design at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, believes that at the rate of speed the computer develops, by the end of this decade, it can create an entire human lifetime of 80 years, including every thought ever conceived during that lifetime. Moreover, this idea could solve a lot of inconsistencies and mysteries about the cosmos. Yeah, there are just glitches in the matrix, baby. One is the contradiction between the apparent high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations within our ever-expanding universe and humanity's lack of contact with or lack of evidence for these alien colonies. He's never seen a UFO. Others are the lack of an explanation for the force of gravity and the as yet unproven existence of what is believed to be a web-like matter binding the universe together known as dark matter. But why would somebody go to all this trouble? Actually the possibilities are endless. What if the society creating this simulation wants to study certain periods in history or even alternate paths history could have taken? Perhaps future artists might create us much like we are now creating movies and theater or they could be created as themed holidays to a bygone era where they can interact with the locals yes i would love to spend my holiday in an era where terrorists are bombing the place to bits one reason could be that it would be too tempting not to. Therefore, if somebody could, they would. But wouldn't we see signs, glitches in the matrix? Maybe we do. Deja vu could be one. Or the recently emerged Mandela effect, where people seem to remember a different reality. Others could be ghosts or miracles. Anything we can't explain. Oops, yeah. This is deja vu, all right. Everything in life is quantifiable and everything can be described mathematical. That would suggest that everything can be broken down to binary code. Several researchers are doing serious investigations into the math that makes up our universe. Why are these conditions we live in so perfect? The right distance away from the sun the right amount of gravity, oxygen and so forth. Maybe it was just programmed like that. I don't think they took global warming into account. The theory of the multiverse possesses a possibility of proof. 
an infinite number of realities like floors of an apartment building with the same layout or like books in a library with some just one letter difference and others with an completely different story multiple simulations running at once many words have been spoken about the great designer of the world usually called God what if he was a programmer who intentionally or unintentionally programmed the desire to worship him into the program hey God your design sucks what come on too much violence what is outside our universe well a supercomputer apparently but what if there were multiple layers of simulations what if someone let the simulation run so long the sims created their own simulation it still leaves the question what is outside the real creator's universe and it leaves me very confused the world needn't be as complex as it seems distant people and places needn't be detailed it's like a game where you interact with only a few all the rest is just set dressing but never mind that you don't even have proof you exist so what if your life was just turned on the last time you blinked okay now i'm really disturbed Despite the fact that people like Elon Musk believe in the simulation theory, there are many who say it isn't so. They say that every simulation we make, whether it is a model of a house or a computer simulated galaxy, it is still made up of a physical object. It, for example, water was simulated it couldn't be made up by anything, not even simulated stuff. Hence, simulated stuff does not exist. And now I'm even more confused. They also state that if stuff was simulated in the computer, the advance of technology over time would make it look unreal and dated. Moreover, things like taste and touch are deemed impossible to simulate. Aside from that, they state the brain is capable of computations, but it is not a computer. And there is consciousness involved, something what is to date impossible to create in a simulation. Wasn't the simulation made to make us believe everything was real? The simulated world would have to be of the same properties as the physical world. And that begs the question, if simulated water is not wet, why should the simulated mind need to feel or think? This is getting much too phys I mean, philosophical for me. So lots of for the simulation theory and lots against. Another potential headache before you decide i hope you were sufficiently simulated i mean stimulated by this one if so slap a like on it as always you can leave comments about what you think here and i will see you next time